but we're adding a little bit of extra spice to it. Okay, so we're sprinkling a little bit of seasoning on my pressure release. Now, all those pressure release scenarios we just had with our dip step, with our dip step hitting under, with our quick step, firing, with our split step, with our just our regular outside step, okay, and then with our rocker step to get that pressure release, to get that body to come to me so I can attack it. Now I want you to think about misdirection. Now, when I talk about misdirection, man, there's some guys that have been really good at it over the years. Um, there's a guy, uh, his last name's Aldantov, probably one of the better guys I've seen. And the reason why I think he's better is because his subtlety of the weight shift. The subtlety of the weight shift, and like I said, misdirecting the stance. Misdirection isn't, hey buddy, hey buddy. It's not, it's not that. Okay, it's a weight shift. So the highest level guys are going to feel this. They're going to feel that. Okay? The highest level guys are going to feel that head position and that weight shift. But what happens when I shift and get a reaction, it's essentially the same thing we did with our high crotch. It's a lot less work. Remember when we shot the high crotch and went anchor single? So I shot the high crotch, and that goes away, come back up to the elbow, anchor single. That's a lot of work to get to a single leg. But what I can do is I can get my stance, I can weight shift, and then I can get back to the other side. Did we shoot that attack earlier today? The anchor on the lead leg, right? But we just dropped down to it earlier, right? We just dropped our hand to it and hit a sweep single. Now I want you to lean to it and then roll. Use your kind of a rocker step a little bit. But the shift is my misdirection, okay? We only think of misdirection as this. That's super duck motion, right? That's misdirection. I'm not fast enough. I'm not smooth enough. I'm not good enough. Well, that's cool because misdirection is much more simple than that. Okay, so I'm pressuring in. He's pressuring back. And I'm just going to lean and attack. I'm leaning and attacking. And then just shift it to the backside. I don't care if your head ends up inside or outside. But I'm leaning just to get him enough to commit with a little bit of a butt drop in head position. Right? Because he don't like that. You don't like that. He's going to drop his butt and his head a little bit. But as long as I get to that anchor here, then I'm just rocking to the back side. I can sweep or I can just sweep double. Whatever you want. So this is what we're going to do just to understand misdirection a little bit. We're going to get square. He's going to be square. He's going to square stance. All I'm going to do is I'm going to circle my hips like we did on our rocker step, but I'm facing forward. So I'm just going to circle and touch his toes. Just like this. Okay, I'm going to circle and touch his toes. Then I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to circle and touch the toes. Okay. Then I'm going to go anchors to the other side. Here, rolling. I'm going anchors to the other side, and I'm rolling. Just tapping the knees, getting to my anchors, rolling. Okay. Get my hands used to my body shifting and then shifting back. That's all we're doing. Because that's essentially what that misdirection is. All right. So we're going to go out. We're just going to circle and tap toes. Get this motion, then work up to the knees. All right, get that motion, then get your tie. And then just play with it from there. Okay, maybe I'm on this side. All right, maybe I'm on this side. And I shift, and then I'm coming back to a low high crotch. I don't care. You can be as creative as you want, but it's a weight shift. It's not a jump to one side, jump to the other. Okay, it's not a big step. I don't have to step here, then step here. All right, I don't have to over exaggerate. I just shift, so I create pressure. Then when I shift, it's even worse. Because I shift, now his lead leg has so much weight on it. But he knows he has to get his head down and protect it. So I create pressure, then I shift, then my attack's good. Or if I want that single, then I create pressure. I'm still shifting, here, shifting. One to the back side, head inside or outside, I don't care. But I want you leaning, shifting, and looking for your attacks. But the toe taps first, knee taps second, then get in your tie, create pressure, and then shift. Go!